We are Allo Atomics. We design and build nuclear reactors that are small enough to fit in your garage and can power anything from a data center to a large city. So nuclear energy is incredibly misunderstood. It's essentially like this alien technology that could be solving so many of our problems, and yet we're just choosing to let it sit on the sidelines. Nuclear is two million times as energy dense as oil and gas. So what that means is one barrel of uranium could essentially replace two million barrels of oil and gas. Simply put, we will not achieve our clean energy goals without nuclear energy. To me, I think what gets exciting about this is the quality of life of nations is directly a function of the amount of energy that they use. So it's something that could bring third world countries out of poverty and it's something that can help usher in the future for everyone across the whole globe. So our mission is to achieve three cent per kilowatt hour electricity with nuclear. And a key problem is that we've lost our nuclear muscle in the West, our ability to, to build large nuclear power plants. So the solution that we are really striving to create is the world's first small nuclear reactor gigafactory. And the way that will work is we'll produce eight modules that are shipped on site and assembled like Legos. Our internal target is from groundbreaking to producing electrons less than 60 days. This is something that we have not achieved in nuclear before. And the reason we can achieve this is because we can make majority of our components in the factory. Among these discoveries are plutonium and uranium-233, which will both lead to future exploitation of atomic energy. Once upon a time, scientists weren't sure if it would ever be possible to extract the energy of the atom. And when the neutron was discovered, scientists everywhere immediately realized and this could either be used as Earth's ultimate energy source. And uh, we have a sufficient amount of uranium and thorium on Earth to have this energy last for hundreds of years. Or Earth's ultimate weapon. The scientists who were researching the energy side in the 1950s and 1960s, they built 52 test reactors at Idaho National Lab. And this was essentially the dawn of the first atomic age. As reactor technology was maturing, Scientists started to place bets on when nuclear would be taking over 100% of the Earth's energy. And many people thought that by the year 2000, the Earth would be entirely powered by nuclear energy. But unfortunately, that is not what happened. Permanent shutdown of the Cody-1 nuclear reactor. 14 reactors have either been shut down or are scheduled to be retired early. The country used to get a third of its electricity from nuclear power. It has turned to oil and coal plants to make up the shortfall. Nuclear deployment went on pods. That is, until now. We are now on the precipice of a second atomic age. And one of the main drivers behind this is the Marvel Reactor from Idaho National Lab. The Idaho National Laboratory is building its first nuclear reactor in decades. And in three short years, they went from an idea to a finished reactor design, which is now currently under construction. So what we're doing at Allo is we're commercializing a scaled up reactor inspired by Marvel. The first reactor we are building is called the Allo One. And this is a 10 megawatt electric sodium thermal reactor. So it works in atmospheric pressure so we don't need a very large, thick containment. The all one reactor uses a uranium zirconium hydride fuel. That's the core material of this reactor. This is the same exact fuel that we utilize in university research reactors, so we have a lot of data on it. And this fuel is inherently very safe, meaning if you add reactivity to the fuel, uh, it tries to heat up, but within a fraction of a second, it shuts down the reactor. If we want a reactor to be in someone's backyard, we want to have them as safe as university research reactors. People are taking a second look at nuclear and they're realizing that it's actually statistically just as safe as solar and wind and produces essentially zero carbon. We're seeing record government funding in the US and other countries. We're seeing companies like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon hiring people dedicated to choosing certain nuclear technologies to power their future data centers. So today, Allo is 10 people. In the next year, we're building a full-scale non-nuclear prototype. When Allo is successful, we're going to untether humanity's growth from its impact on Earth. If we can make nuclear energy as cheap as we think we can, then it could unlock a massive quality of life improvement for people all over the world. And we think that it can power humanity's growth without harming the environment for the next thousand years. There has to be some major new energy source to come in and help displace oil and gas one for one. And the best possible technology for that is nuclear. At Allo Atomics, we're doing everything we possibly can to be the catalyst that ushers in that second atomic age.